Start with your heads down, heels together, toes apart. Lift your head. Start with your right knee. Faster. Around and plie. Again, knee, shoulder, shoulder, knee, fast. Around and plie. Wipe like safe. Let's just do a comic haul. Aloha YouTubers Doom 143 and we are back with another comic book haul I know it's crazy what is that like two hauls in one month what is going on what is going on, What's going on? that is kind of nuts um all right look I promise to try to make this video as short as possible Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Uh, did want to do one little shameless plug the 9.2 crew will be back for a reunion this Sunday on Alex the comic Quarters YouTube channel I will have a link towards the bottom we're gonna be talking comics uh, just just kind of shooting this shit doing some giveaways from 789 and uh, just having fun just having fun man and um, yeah, that's pretty much about it uh, so let's just kind of get into this comic book haul hope you enjoy Let's check it out. So real quickly, I went to uh, one of my favorite comic book shops. Uh, he had a buy one, no, I'm sorry, buy two, get two, and uh, all the books were $1. So basically all the books you're gonna be looking at were 50 cents a piece. Um, and I found some pretty cool stuff that I definitely wanna show in the video. And I also wanna show it because I already flipped a couple of these and uh, I gotta send them off, but uh, yeah. Uh, found this Warlord of Mars number four J. Scott Campbell. Um, I guess they call this the blue and white variant. Pretty hard to find. There is a red and white if you can find that. I think that's a little harder to find. But 50 cents. Found this Wonderland. Boom. Down the rabbit hole. Uh, this one is number four and it is a variant as well. This is cover C. Uh, it's <laughs> it's kind of a uh, erotic cover but let me just tell you guys a little bit of something oh look you might not be into these which is totally fine but if you ever find these uh, xenoscopes um, there's a bunch of different titles and if they're a variant and if it looks a little scandalous and hot but you might not be into them you can find them on the cheap I would say pick them up they're great flips uh, people will buy these all the time I found this for 50 just sold it on eBay so yeah just kind of look out for these and like I said you might not be into them that's for, that's okay that's okay that's okay uh, all right first appearance of Kashamba this is Black Panther 2099 no spec here just kind of first appearances this belongs to a different universe anyway I think it's like Earth 2922 or something like that um, along with that, I found the first appearance of uh, Chad, I think it's Chad Canning, who is uh, Mutant 2099. So, found this one again, 50 cents. Found first appearance of Samuel Fisk as well. So, this is the first appearance of Daredevil 2099. So, all of these uh, 2099 characters, you guys probably know Hulk 2099 and Spider Man 2099 as well. Uh, I just wanted to pick up some other 2099 first appearances and I'm getting sick of saying 2099. All right. Um, found this for 50 cents. I thought this was like crazy. So I haven't seen this cover in a while. This is a Tucci cover. And I this is a, what is this? Is this Razor? No, She. She. And um, so this is a white variant. I don't know why I said white. This is just a virgin variant there you go <laughs> and I thought this was harder to find than I guess it is um, I originally thought it was super hard to find I thought it's going for a grip it goes for a little bit 
uh, I think somewhere between 5, 10, 15. It's kind of like all over the place. But uh, I did find this for 50 cents. I was pretty stoked on that one. Um, this was another cool find. Uh, just something really cool. First appearance of Christine Spar, who is the, um, I, I think it's the second Grendel. Uh, so this is the first appearance. This is uh, Grendel number one. But this is the second print. So supposedly the second print is a bit harder to find than the first print. And um, yeah, again, just 50 cents. Again, no real big spec, nothing. Just, you know, one of those first appearances. I've never been, uh, what am I trying to say? I've never scared away from buying a first appearance, uh, especially on the cheap. Uh, I don't want to collect too much of these non-first appearances or non-important first appearances, but I'll pick up some of them. Uh, first full appearance of Mr. Sinister. Now, you, this book goes way more than 50 cents, but you can obviously tell why it was for 50 cents. <laughs> it's, it's so dirty. It's so dirty, so I guess it just plopped it up in the 50 cents bin. And um, this iconic cover as well. So both of those were really, really awesome to find um, in those uh, 50 cents bin. And um, of course, it was mostly due to the condition and whatnot, but... Yeah, still super, 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 super stoked on finding those ones. Um, all right, so let's do some spec stuff real quick. You know me, love my spec stuff. So this is a all new, all different Avengers number one. This is the uh, Alex Ross cover A. Now, the reason I wanted to pick this up, and uh, I'm one of those guys that sometimes I react a little too quickly not so much to the spec that's already out there, but I've been lucky enough and fortunate enough to have friends who know people sometimes, and uh, they'll kind of, I'm fortunate enough that they'll let me know on some of this spec. So um, TiVo already talked about this, so I'm also okay talking about it too. Uh, yeah, so TiVo, TiVo hit me up. Uh, by the way, I will leave a link to TiVo, Lord of the Long Box. I'm not too sure what happened to his YouTube page. Uh, this guy had like, what, six, seven, thousand subscribers or something and now it's at like 600 something guys a fabulous youtuber um, he's definitely not new he's been doing this for a while and the stuff he's bringing uh, it's always been good it's really always been good his haul has been great his podcast has been awesome just uh, something happened to his YouTube thing so go ahead sub him up this guy is uh, yeah he's just one of those pillars he's just one of those staples one of those geniuses in our community anyway so he hit me up on, uh, I think it was Instagram. And he kind of just let me know that uh, Kamala Khan is guaranteed to appear in the next Captain Marvel uh, movie. So my thought process from that was, I wonder what the first appearance of Captain Marvel uh, is joining the Avengers. So initially, doing some studies, I thought it was on you all different Avengers number one. This book doesn't go for much, so I figure it's a great time to buy it, especially when the spec right now is focused on just Kamala Khan. I was thinking ahead that Kamala Khan will be part of the new Avengers, so I'm like, okay, so when did she join the Avengers? So I picked this one up, and I even found this one for 10 bucks, which is surprising because this is actually a 1 in 200 sketch variants from Alex Ross. Um, I remember when this thing first came out, people were asking for 100 but uh, now you can find them like for 30 bucks but i found this one for 10. Um, so yeah just had to pick them up because initially i thought this was when she joined the avengers but what happened is i flipped through it and it didn't really read as far as her joining the avengers so of course i had to do a little bit more studies and i found out that this is the book that if you want to speculate on this is the book you want to get so here we go all new, all different, sorry, did I call this all new something else? Anyway, all new, all different Avengers free comic book day. So, this is when Kamala Khan joins the Avengers. But actually, just not Kamala Khan. This is actually the first time Kamala, Miles Morales, and Sam Alexander. Sam Alexander. <laughs> hey, ugh, drugs. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> um... Kamala Khan, Miles Morales, and Sam Alexander joins the Avengers. So, there you go. All new, all different Avengers. Free comic book day. Something to look out for. Found a couple of them on eBay. Uh, so, I bought both of them. 
so yeah, just you know, FYI. Also, also speculation, speculation. Um, I guess they're supposed to do something with Elsa Bloodstone down the line. If you watch the video before this, um, you know that I picked up finally got that first Bloodstone number one out of the way. Uh, but this is Marvel Presents Bloodstone number one. This is actually a first appearance of Ulysses Bloodstone, which is the father. So I figured if they're going to do something with Elsa, they might somehow incorporate the dad. So I figured, you know what, go ahead, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. And I think this is the last spec book that I have for you guys. But um, this is Ultimate Spider-Man number 70. This is the first appearance of the Ultimate Nightmare. So I guess in Doctor Strange, Nightmare is supposed to be the villain. This is what I heard. Um, but Doctor Strange's first appearance and Nightmare's first appearance is both in the same book. But uh, I was just kind of reading and I was just thinking, you know what, there's another Nightmare. Um, I think this one can shapeshift. So I was like, well, if they use a Nightmare that shapeshifts, maybe this one... I don't know. I'm not a huge Doctor Strange guy, not Nightmare guy, but I know this is the first appearance of Nightmare. Then again, it is part of a different Earth. This is Earth 1610, and I think uh, the regular one is 610. So yeah, that was a little bit of nerdy stuff, but anyway, whatever's, whatever's, whatever's. All right, let's go to some of the regular comic book day stuff that I found. So I think I'm going to bring this closer just because I think it's so freaking awesome. Um, so there's a couple of artists that I absolutely love. Bill Sienkiewicz, David Mack, and of course, Simone Bianchi. Always, always, always like Simone Bianchi's art. I didn't know this Savage Avengers actually existed until I saw it at my comic book shop. I think it's a 1 in 50. Now, the comic book shop, they price their variants based on the ratio. So a lot of times if it's a 1 in 50, they'll ask for $50. I never buy my verg I never buy my variants from them because a lot of times it's overpriced. Sometimes it's underpriced, but majority of the time it's overpriced. So uh, found this one on eBay. I had to. There's no way I was going to pay 50 bucks for this. But this thing is just phenomenal. Uh, just absolutely love this Venom cover. So Savage Dragon number Savage Dragon. So stupid. Savage Avengers number three variant. And speaking of an awesome looking Venom, I. There was no way I was not going to pick up Addy Granoff's um, Absolute Carnage. There, there was like, you got to be crazy if I don't pick up this cover. I mean, that glare on the Mylar, sorry about that, but maybe I could bring it up closer. God damn, look at this thing. Jesus Christ, probably one of the best, one of, not the best, but one of the best Carnage covers out there. So, I mean, Venom covers. What am I saying? Jeez, I'm off my game tonight. Off my game. All right, what else did I get? Oh, check this out. So I found another Thor, number one uh, variant. And uh, yeah, first appearance of Jane Foster. Oh man, I can't believe this. Okay, wait, I gotta say this correctly. Let's try to do this. First full appearance of Jane Foster as Thor in continuity. There we go. So <laughs> Thor number one. Uh, I picked up another variant of Thor number one again in my past video and then now I finally got this one. I think this is a 1 in 25. Uh, didn't pick this up too too bad. It, the hype kind of died down a little bit. It's so fast how, how people move. But anyway, 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 anyway. Um, I got to thank one of my buddies, Koi Cakes, for letting me know about this book. Had to pick it up as soon as you told me about it. This is Dark Age. The 1 in 10 variant. There's a bunch of different variants. This is the one that I absolutely wanted to get. Loved it. Had to pick it up. Didn't read the book yet, but I heard it's pretty cool. Something to do about a world with no metal. So it kind of sounds really interesting. Heard this already got optioned, but then again, what the fuck has not got optioned is the question. I think comic books that don't get optioned should be worth more because um, <laughs> I feel like there's uh, less of those out there. Uh, got this through Instagram. Batman annual number 25 uh, Jason Todd origin all of that stuff but this is the variant that I've been wanting for a while I've not had that this is actually the variant to this so this probably looks very familiar to you but this is the verge <sighs> this is the variant that I've been wanting for a while I am definitely off my game tonight all right cool stuff cool stuff cool stuff um, contest of champions number one 
first appearance of White Fox. Um, I heard White Fox might be a little bit more of a big deal coming down the road. I think there's something coming out in October. So I figured why not find out what the first appearance of White Fox is. Boom. Constance Champions number one. But you know me. I had to buy the variant. So pick this one up. Absolutely stoked on having that one. Um, and of course there's been a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle news going on. Watch Sam's. They hypnotize you with that ass and them booty shirts twerking for a nigga. Next thing you know they prank. So of course I had to pick up my issue number 51. This is supposedly, I guess, nobody's ever actually said. Uh, first appearance of Jenica, which is the uh, female turtle. Um, ironically, again, reading this, if it kind of felt like they already knew about Jenica. So I don't know if there's an issue before this where Jenica appears or if this is like a cameo or this is the first full appearance of Jenica. So if you guys know, please let me know. But I know people are calling this first appearance of Jenica. And again, me being a variant guy, I had to pick up the retail incentive variant of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 51 first appearance of Jenica. Had to pick it up. I'm just one of those guys. If there's a first appearance, I am definitely going to pick up what... Usually I try to pick up whatever is the highest incentive variant that they have. Um, so not only did I pick up 51, of course I had to pick up number 59. Uh, this came in a two-pack for $10. This is the uh, variant for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 59. But this is not the important one. This The important one is actually the regular cover. And it's because it's the first cover appearance of Jenica. So... Yeah, had to pick that up. I did buy issue number 95 through one of the uh, YouTube auctions. So I got 95 coming in, which is Jenica. I think the first time Jenica turns into a turtle. So I think this is a great long-term spec. Definitely holding on to these books. Um, turtles have always had a following. And uh, the read's actually not that bad in these things. I've never read any of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff and I gotta admit it's actually not that bad I kind of like kind of like it so yeah can't wait till 95 comes in have it as a set so I'll have 51 59 95 and I guess I'll chase down 96 later on but uh, yeah that's pretty much the haul I know that was a fast one hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Um, again 9.2 crew on Alex the Comic Hoarder's YouTube channel uh, this Sunday 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time it's gonna be fun we're gonna give away some stuff like I said but other than that everybody have a good day shoots and mahalos <laughs>